Hey everybody, Thaisha here with Legacy of Light in conjunction with One Love Wellness Center here in Menasha, Wisconsin, coming to you for one of my 365 days from my heart to yours. And today um, I'm going to be reading a passage from um, the human Akash, and um, it's from Maran, uh, Monica Marani, and she's put together... Um, Everything that Lee Carroll um, channeled from um, the, the consciousness of Cryon. So, and it has to do all with the, the human Akash. So, it says, Your consciousness, or innate, and your higher self are ready to create a body which does not age nearly as much, and where you don't have to worry as much about disease. It's more than just chemistry. It's consciousness over matter. You can start to have peace, and you can demand less drama around you. You become a different human being, and your friends will notice, but not all of them will appreciate it. Perhaps you are beginning to put this together. These are the things that the masters of the planet told you. This is also no different than what the ancients knew, talked about, and gave to you. You now sit in a new energy, one where these things are upon you, and you are beginning to feel them. What are you going to do with it? Well, crying, you still haven't told us how to do this all. All right, I will. There's a bridge, and it's called intuition. Intuition is a multidimensional message system from the human being. It is not generated from the brain, and it is not perceived in a linear way. It is coming through the portal of the higher self, and it's always correct and connected to you. But you need to learn to decipher it. Spiritual intuition is just a graduate of human intuition with your own body. Intuition is the bridge with the innate. Start using that intuition and that intuitive power with every single human has. What is the first intuitive answer when you ask a question? Don't discount that information. I know it feels like a fleeting thought or that you made it up, but don't discount it when it doesn't make sense. Sometimes when presented with intuition, you go into a concentrated state of intellectual inquiry. What does it mean? Was it me? Was it something else? Why not instead speak to your body right now? Innate is you, dear one. So you can talk to it. Dear spirit slash body or innate, I choose to meld with you in whatever ever form you decide. Dear innate, Thank you for being in me, with me, and protecting me. Thank you for the field around me that keeps me safe. Thank you that I'm able to hone the intuition so that I will know the truth. And we can speak to that innate at all times. And we can have that connection. And, you know, what I've talked about before, that a balance between the you know living in this human body the balance between innate and the ego and the mind and the heart and just to find that 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 perfect spot and to to trust ourselves when you know we have these knowings or you know the intuition because that is us that is our innate giving us the answers so he goes on innate can tell you if somebody is lying to you innate is what allows you to know that this channeling is real Innate knows more than the linear human consciousness produced by the brain. Innate is a quantum state. Innate is a quantum part of the human being. In the theory of superstrings, scientists say that there are 11 dimensions at the center of an atom. Actually, there are more than 27. They'll find that out. So what's in the others? It's known by innate, and you owe it. You own it. It is information that can be written and rewritten within your DNA, and it can affect your stem cells and talk directly to your biology. And that's not all. For here it comes, full circle. We have said to you before, why don't you consider mining the Akash? That is to say, why not try picking up those things of the past lives that you've lived through and that you've earned? They are there, lurking in you, just waiting to be used. Because you are here in 3D, you think they are in the past and they are just something you look at in the history book. You don't understand that in quantum state there is no time. Use them. 
use them all. And so what he is saying is that we each have these Akashic records and we can go into them and and ask for the things that we want. And in the mining, the Kash is just saying, hey, look, I know that I have something within me that I can use to help me now in this situation and what, wherever it happened in time. Was it the past, the present, the future? Because we only see it as those things here on earth. This is a linear thing, but actu in all actuality, it's all right now. There is no time. There is no past, present, future. So really, we don't have these past lives. It's, it's all within our DNA, and we can ask for any of it to be brought forth. You know, like in, in spontaneous remission is, you know, maybe the, somebody didn't know that they asked, but the innate knew that that body, that form existed at some point within your, you know, your DNA, within your lineage that was free from this disease. And it went and got that and brought that part forth and like, you know, took care of all the, the, the cells that were not reproducing correctly and reproduce them correctly to where it was as if that disease never existed within you and that is just part of you we all have these parts and it's it's our choice to to realize and to call upon them and and to mine our own akash to go in and say look i want this and and we each have the ability to do this to, to learn how to go into our kosh. And it's, you know, most of it, I would say, you know, 99% of it is just our intention. Do you want to go in there? Do you want to have this connection to your innate, to, to your guides, to your, to, you know, as I call my team? Do what, what, what do I want in that connection? And I get to choose. And I can call forth these things and say, I would like, you know, I would like the the part of me that was a, a strong business person, you know, that was self-employed or, you know, that that learned to master, you know, whatever you're looking to master and to become a master of in your life. And, you know, just... It's just a, an open conversation, open pathway between you and the the innate because we see it as separate but it, it it's all part of us in this you know our divine human expression has all parts of us we just have to to become aware and in this awareness have the intention that we want to to reconnect all these parts that will help us now and the innate is a part of you that knows what will help you now and what is going to be your best. And, and you can, you know, you can ask and or just ask to be shown and, and have that part brought forth. Say, I, you know, maybe I don't know what I need right now, but can you show me and can you bring that forth out of my Akash? Because I know it exists. I know it's there. I don't know if it's in the past, the present, or the future, but I know it's there. So bring it forth and claim it as your own because that is yours, as he says. So cry on how, and the answer is innate through intuition. Innate is ready to pick up the ones that you need right now. Because it knows and has been waiting for your instructions and permissions in this new energy. Don't pretend that you know what you need. Human consciousness is limited to 3D. You know what you want, but only innate knows what you need to accomplish what you came here for. And isn't that beautiful? Innate represents the benevolent God in you. It's a system that is bigger than you thought. Many of these things are going to be seen soon. So don't be shocked and surprised if medical science, including that which is called quantum biology, starts to prove what I am telling you today. It won't be that long. How smart is innate? Let me show you. When a human being has his or her spinal cord severed, the result is often paralysis and a wheelchair for life. It's odd, however, that the heart keeps beating. 
Where are the signals coming from? They used to come from the brain and regulate the heartbeat. Medical science will tell you it's this or that, but it isn't the brain. The connection is gone. Why do many of those with severed spinal cords still have reproductive activity? Where is that coming from? What about digestion? That's supposed to be totally the brain. And the answer, my dear friends, is innate. It's the second brain because it's connected to the DNA system and always was. You're starting to get a picture and it's beautiful. And that's the message of the today. And, you know, I guess in the past, I, I never really connected those two things of like, yeah, like, why is your heart still beating? You know, if it's supposed to be this connection between your brain and your, your spinal cord, like how, how is that possible? <laughs> so what are you going to do with this? Why don't you start a process of talking to yourselves on a regular basis? Speak to your higher self at the same time, almost as if the two were one. Speak to innate. I know you're there. The beauty of this is that the innate is not set apart from human consciousness. It is aligned with it. Again, it is not set apart from human consciousness. It is aligned with it. It is the multidimensional part of what you already have. Innate is you taking care of you in the best way it can, even if you can't talk to it. Find a way through intuition to know more about what's going on within you. You'll get to a place, dear ones, where talking to your Nate is going to be second nature. It's all done through the part of you which is intuitive, and you can do it at every moment of every day. And that's when you get the peace. That's when you start to fall in love with yourself. It's beautiful, possible, and doable. And as you walk the planet, the plants will know, the animals will know, and they're all hooked into it. Beautiful, isn't it? That's our message. That's what we want to tell you. It's another exposition of the God in you. And I am Cryon, in love with humanity. Go from this place changed. And so it is. That was from February 2011. And so we can have this connection. We can, it's, it's almost like reopening this pathway to, to the awareness of our expansiveness. And that our innate is the multidimensional part of us that has always been there and always been guiding us and, and trying to, you know, to help us and to, you know, communicate with us and show us things that we, we don't know on the 3D human level. And so you can open up this, this communication and this pathway and find peace. And you know, even down to the simplest things like doing the muscle testing or doing, you know, like the pendulum for, you know, started, I've started doing it sometimes with, with food because I felt like I was, these things were just not agreeing with my body and it, you know, it shouldn't necessarily have been like bad for me, but it's just whatever processes my body is going through, like it, it didn't want these certain things. And so I started doing, you know, some pendulum things and like the muscle testing is this. I don't know if you can see that and you go like that. Okay, so you pull. I'd be like, my name is Stacia. Yeah, my name is Stacia. My name is Heather. You know, my name is Heather. And you literally cannot hold it. My name is Heather. My name is Stacia. My name is Stacia. So I just do that and I'll be questioning, oh, is is this good for me? And then... I have also started within that to, to trusting when I ask and I, I don't do that to just be like, okay, is, is this going to be all right? And I feel into my heart for the answers and the connection. And there is almost like this peace that comes about it and, you know, that 
that I am becoming more in tune with myself and, and more in balance and to the, the place where I, I want to be. And I, I, you know, to use this, to use my innate and to trust my innate has, you know, the, the connection with the universe, the connection with my, that is my divine expression and that it, it always has my best interest because the universe has always had our best interest and it's it's only us who makes you know choices and you know none of them are right or wrong it's just it, it takes us down a different pathway to to learn different things but when we can come in this connection and then you know there's not so many like veering off the pathway because you're like oh yeah oh yeah yeah I've, I've always wanted to go this way I thought I thought it was this way because I was listening to my ego or my brain and and not my heart but okay so I went off that way and that's okay I came back and it's just like you can you can you're better able to just stay on this path and and keep going to where the places that your your soul actually wants to go your your innate your divine expression and it is, is not as frustrating and even when things come into your you know, into your path or that maybe before would have frustrated you. They're not as frustrating. And it, you tend to become that master. These are the things that the masters of the planet were, you know, have been trying to, to convey to us. And they are masters because they mastered who they were as the divine expression. And they mastered that connection with their innate and with the oneness of this universe and with the ultimate love and, and, and guidance system that, that there is for all of us if we choose to follow it. So if you haven't started, I, you know, I encourage you to, to open that, that communicational pathway in between you and your innate and, and to, you know, find out where you can go and, and even, you know, that what things you can do to, to keep your body healthy and to, you know, to maybe get rid of toxins and whatever you need to do to bring your body back into this, this beautiful alignment. You can literally change your DNA structure to, you know, mine your Akash for all the things that you want. I love you all, and as always, you are eternally adored and loved, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that, and if you're interested in getting a hold of me for, for anything else, um, in the description of the video is all, always other ways that you can get a hold of me, so I love you all, and hope you have a fantastic day.